Hey, Luke here uh, with Cam Shea. Hey, Luke. And I just want to quickly chat to y'all about one thing that I've been harping on for a few years, mm -hmm. uh, but I still think just a, it's a little bit misunderstood. And I want to lay it to rest. Yep. Uh, and that is the livery editor, which is an incredibly powerful tool mm -hmm. in, in Forza Motorsport 6 specifically, but it's been there, it's been there since uh, the early days. Cam, there's a lot of people that have probably heard me say this quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about it. The feedback that I get from some people, mm. they kind of trivialize it. It's kind of like, ah, you need to get to paint your cars. That's not important. Like, I get it. Yep. That it's less important than, say, the driving dynamics and the sound and that kind of stuff. But people don't quite, I think there's some people, I'm generalizing, so they don't quite realize how powerful this tool is. It's ridiculously yeah. powerful. So... Is it still, just as an aside, is it still as a, an arcane a science as it used to be? Yeah, with all the shapes and yeah. gradients. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You know, people do, people don't create what we're about to see in a moment by importing graphics right. or any of this stuff. They, they, they build it with thousands of layers of tiny wanna, shapes. If you want to put a penis on a car, you got to work at it. you really got to work at it. Um, but let, yeah, let, me, let me give you an example, right? And this will be an example that kind of applies to... Uh, Australia, because that is my... Uh, uh, this well, because kind of screw the rest of the world. <laughs> but, obviously, it also applies to the rest of the world, so you can kind of just take this as an example. Mm -hmm. So let's head right to, say, Nissan. I, I want to talk about this particularly, and, and the thing I want to talk about at the moment as well, basically, because the Bathurst 1000 is on this weekend. Mm. So this is topical. So let's head down to, say, a classic uh, Nissan that we saw, Conquer the Mountain, Back Ooh, in the, the early 90s, right? All you got to do is just say, okay, well, yeah, all right, I remember that. Click on it. Now, this I, I'm still a little down on. I kind of dislike how you get... I, I, I disliked it in Forza 5, and I still dislike it here. And, how and you kind of have to opt out. Yeah, no, totally, because most of the designs look like somebody threw up on your car. They look a bit... Like they look a bit cobbled together. Technicolor yeah. spew. It's harder to find the really great I mean, look at this. Yeah, it's kind Whoever of put that together, <laughs> poor Mold 8, you're a joke. You're a hopeless joke. What a stupid livery. Oh, uh, that's so cruel. Um, but... He, if, or, he or she's not going to hear it. Uh, that's and, statistically, possibly not, yeah. And if he or she does, I did it for effect. <laughs> but that is a terrible livery, so you should really... Do a better job. Um, but if we type in, say, a keyword like Bathurst, then I'm I'm banking on this working because I trust the Forza community. Oh yeah. Specifically the Forza community. I just type in painters. Rocky if I was you. Wrong car cam. Oh, okay. Come on, man. Okay, so right. we do that. We see what happens. Basically, I am anticipating we turn it. It also takes a little while to load. It took a little while in Forza Five as what well. What about Microsoft's cloud computing, <laughs> man? And here we here we go, oh, right? Oh, 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 oh. And here we go. These are classic liveries that you can apply to your car and it's a real world thing you know oh, and it doesn't apply it, yeah. does, it doesn't require any work on the part of the developers yeah, yeah. it doesn't require any licensing yep Ooh. it just requires some passion yeah <laughs> some passion damn it so and it's as easy as that it applies to all kinds of other cars like I, we could sit here for 20 minutes half an hour three hours mm -hmm. and go through all the cars and all the classic liveries that you could find on uh, like overseas rally cars and British touring cars all that kind of stuff here though I want to show you something in particular because I was really impressed by this mm -hmm. Uh, let me back out to my car. My, okay, my cars. As you can see at the start of the video, it's one of the new Holden Racing Team Commodores. Uh, it'll be taking on uh, the Bathurst 1000 this weekend. But somebody, some saint, <laughs> some saint in yes, human form, has uh, find. Actually, no, I don't need to find it because I just need to um, apply design. Some saint has Take already built the custom livery that this car will be carrying. Well, actually, this team, his teammate's car will be carrying this weekend, which is a Star Wars The Force Awakens livery, which is amazing. Yeah? Yeah. A, the livery is amazing, but B, what this, 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 this Forza user has done is incredible. Now, there are two. There are two liveries. They're not quite... Neither are perfect. Mm. And it pains me to say, because they're both thousands of times better than I could ever manage myself. Sure. One doesn't include the Stormtrooper that's supposed to be on the other car and the other is a gloss finish and it's supposed to be a matte finish. Oh. This is the one... So, you know, no, storm, no Stormtroopers. I hate the look of it. But I can't criticise him because he's done such an amazing job mm. elsewhere. So we apply this to the car, load Tanda Bathurst and then bam, we'll go to uh, Forza Vista where we can just inspect it. Yep. And you can just see the detail which is which is uh, evident on the car. It's amazing. We just... Um, Forza Vista, right? If we just go around to here and here is Kylo Ren Yep. The character from, obviously, Star Wars. 
all the all these all this stuff has been custom built by this user mm. and applied to the car. Now, mm. the, the, one one of the problems and it's been there for years is that you can't for some reason I don't know why you can't apply stuff to the windscreen. So any wind windshield banners or the racing numbers that are normally supposed to be there on that window, you can't reapply those. Yeah, right. It seem, it's always seemed like a weird thing that you c they've never they've never sort of got around. Well, I guess they've checked like dynamic weather effects off. Oh, um, well, yes, I you guess. You know, they've got the yeah. rivulet technology <laughs> happening. So now they're going to keep their attention on windows and windshields. Possibly and four to seven. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that, that's that. And or I if it was a polyphony digital game, it had come to four to six in ten years' time. Yeah. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Sorry, Grand like Turismo. The, well, the course maker came out yesterday. That's what I'm alluding to. After two years, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that, I mean, that, that that's amazing. Um, now, one slight issue. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I really hope that Turn 10 can sort of take a look at this because I, I know I, so I'm certainly not the only one to bring this up. It's, it's been discussed in the forums. I can take this car and I will and I'll take it to say I want to do a quick race. Free play, right? Where I can set up my advance, do yep. whatever I want. Yep. The problem is, say, okay, hang on, we select the track. The problem is that you can select the track, you can take your own car there, but you can't control the opposition that turns up. Oh, it's so annoying. And it's, it is. It is annoying. Yeah. And it's such an annoying thing. And it really, it kind of... think about... It kills the free play a little bit. Yeah, the recreating, like, all the classic liveries from an iconic race. Yeah, an iconic year or... Yeah. Because, it, because it contains so many cars. So, yeah, basically the thing is, and it kind of undermines what, um, what the Microsoft Australia guys came out with down here, for instance, when they announced that they had the, the 10 cars yeah. from VS Supercars. Yeah. And, and, and I keep singling out VS Supercars, but they have... 10 cars from the IndyCar and British Touring Cars yep. and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And they, they, they spelled out, in partnership with the V8 guys, they spelled out that, yes, you can uh, use the livery editor to build the rest of the cars that we don't have. Right. But the problem is you can't put them all in the same place at yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't select the cars that will take you on and then apply liveries to them. So what you what you end up with, let me just oh, start the race. There's 24, yeah, there's 24 other players. So if let me just start the race. You kind of end up with this, like, just random assortment of cars in that same class mm. but you can't control what turns up mm. you can't put other cars you can't put the other liveries in the cars mm. and then bring them in there it seems for it's a game that goes to such great lengths yeah. to really cater to different like motorsports enthusiasts mm. around the world that it's just stumbling at that kind the of final fine, line yeah, where it like, should technically all be doable it's yeah. just an interface thing right? it does it just feels like just apply the car select to the opponents yeah. it was something that for, you could do in Forza 4 um, I don't think you could put liveries on of your choice, but you could possibly put other people's car, like your own car, your own garage cars in there. Mm. And I agree, it would be like a minority of people who would use it. But these but kind those of games are the are, hardcore yeah, people. The people making the liveries yeah. are those guys. So so yeah, I mean the, uh, the only real way so you, you can just see the random cars out here. The only real way of doing it is, I guess, finding twenty four real other humans <laughs> wow and turning up in the right you know in yeah, the one yeah. race and, and making sure no one brings the same car and stuff yeah but yeah as you can see you've got, there's a four gt here there's a there's up here there's one of the there's a group a, a group a touring car or something like that anyway so but that's my point sad very sad yeah hey, but so can can you then oh. go in and edit somebody else's livery to kind of polish it up or you c only if they leave it unlocked you can't you can't um Touch people's liveries, otherwise people, uh, you know, you know, people would abuse that. Yeah. They take it down and then they re they re-upload it. And go, yeah. look at this awesome Star Wars car I made. Sure. Uh, because some people are terrible. <laughs> uh, but like yeah, that's that, that. like that guy that made that first livery we saw. <laughs> <laughs> what a clod. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks for letting me vent, Cam. Um, no, it's cool. This is a, a side of the game that I haven't really dipped into very much. So. Yeah, well, it's always going to be there, and I, I, I love collecting liveries that people make. Some people like just make the most amazing stuff, mm. and I love building, you know, the old cars. But I just wish that I could put them all in one place at once. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then well, I'm looking at you instead of the track, by the way. And then yeah, but I don't know. There's always updates. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you've got a, you've got a, like a, a red phone in your desk. I assume that goes straight to turn ten. It does. So it does. Get I just Dan don't. I don't on the phone <laughs> and say. I just don't want to abuse it. You know? Oh right, yeah. You want to wait for something truly important. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, but yeah, obviously for everything else, Forza, uh, anything, anything else on four wheels. In fact, keep it locked to IGN. Bye.